Everybody, welcome. Finally, we made it. Welcome to One On and Another, which is uh, our first ever YouTube TV show. One and Another. Uh, my name is Massi. I come Massimo Zitti. I'm from Rome originally, but this is my seventh country. I live in Toronto now. I'm a bartender and co-owner of uh, Mother Cocktail Bar, which is a cocktail bar in Toronto, in Queen West. And the idea is very simple. This bar, it's, uh, you know, based on fermentation, really, but more than anything, it's based on balanced drinks, uh, good customer service. I've been bartending all my life. I started when I was 15. Uh, growing up, you know, and going up with the, with the years, I started understanding the importance of knowledge. Uh, knowledge is a foundation of, you know, everything that we do, really. And that's why, actually, we started this YouTube channel. I just want to talk about it, something that I'm very passionate about it and I want to share it with everybody else. Um, we're gonna talk about lots of different spirits. We're gonna talk about lots of different categories through this journey. And the first category is actually probably my favorite category on cocktail making, uh, but especially I would say a category that, you know, it's been through the history of bartending very close to every bartender really, which is gin. Uh, there's also, of course, the London Dry Gin. We actually have one of example here today, uh, which is Whitten and Ale. Uh, London Dry obviously has to be dry. That means it's, uh, there's not one gram of uh, sweetener for a liter uh, when you redistillate, which is obviously uh, kind of very dry, and that's where the name comes from. And also, we're going to talk about Western style gin. The Western style gin is also called the modern Western style, uh, which is basically a London dry, but with a plus. There's a little bit more botanical into it. It doesn't need to be redistilled or infusion all at the same time, but can actually be blended of different gin together. I also would like to, you know, especially this is our first episode, I would like to drive you through how to taste things, you know? So whenever you taste something, especially the spirits, I will highly recommend it to go very slow at the very beginning. You always want a little bit of water, especially if you taste two different things at the same time or like one after the other, or one or the other, get that. It's uh, fundamental, especially if you're trying different ingredients or different kind of spirits. Why? Because you want to reset your kind of taste. Uh, another very important step is, you know, understanding that you're actually tasting something pretty strong. This is 43%, this is 43% of ethanol. So alcohol by volume means that this is gonna be very strong. So whenever we're tasting, I always like to approach first with, you know, my nose. You see the legs first, you see obviously the liquid. And all we're gonna do here, we're gonna basically put a, a little nose first. This is obviously gin. Uh, we're talking about London Dry. When we're talking about London Dry, it means, you know, it's around eight to nine, 10 botanical max. Uh, the main uh, spirit is actually a natural grain spirit, but it's also flavored with juniper. It has to be flavored with juniper. Normally London Dry are popular because the juniper kind of extra flavors is very strong. There's a very high percentage of juniper flavor. So when we tasted it, I like to put my nose first. Even open your mouth sometimes is very helpful. Uh, especially, you know, gin, gin for instance, you will see very citrusy, very sharp. So very important. I like to divide my tasting in kind of three steps. The first step, I actually just hint my lips with the spirit. What happened? That my actual body and my actual, you know, lips, they get used to of the strand. So as soon as I hint my lips, I feel obviously the juniper, I feel the citrusy, and then I go a bit more deep with the second. I like especially the second time to actually spread the liquid all around my mouth. So I get really imbibed with the flavors. The third one, now your mouth actually got used to. So you can go a little bit stronger. Now, for instance, on the third part, I can get the roots. I can get a bit more dryness that comes to it. Um, and also it's not, you know, it's not actually getting you so much as if you were drunk a shot. You know? Your mouth really got used to into the flavors. Um, when we're talking about the second, uh, this is tankery number 10. Uh, probably my favorite gin out there. I've been making drinks with this for a very long time. It's a fantastic gin, it's very versatile. 
Um, I think it's also one of the cleanest gin out there. Uh, but the idea is very simple. It, this is basically a London dry, but with some hints of florals and citruses. What I like to do, see, I'm drinking water with between one and the other tasting. I highly recommend it to do every time you're tasting spirits. So this one, I can already smell it. There's so much more floral notes going through. Um, a bit more citrus for sure. More aromatic, I would say. Super true, so much less dry. You actually get so much sweetness into it or much more citron than the London dry. You understand why the two category, well, the same category, but the two styles are so different. The floral notes really kicks in. The citrus notes is so funny because they're actually part of the texture. So you have one gin that, you know, you smell the citruses and you got this kind of dry notes of roots, while the other one is actually much more bold. Um, there's, there's so much citrus texture, which I highly recommend it if you're at a home to try it, to understand what I'm starting to talk about, because the difference is huge. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel, uh, Mother Cocktail Bar. We just started this, and we really would like you to be part of this journey. I would love you to, you know, um, ask me questions, ask me whatever you want about, any spirit categories, any cocktails. You know, we are at the bar, we are an open book, and we would like to share our knowledge. So welcome back. We're finally gonna make a drink. As a first drink, I would like to make uh, a classic sour, as a gin sour with egg white, using Whitney Neal London Dry Gin. The reason why I use this gin for the sour, or for this style of sour, is just because I wanted to something very simple and obviously very dry. Just because we're gonna add lemon juice, we're gonna add egg white, it's gonna also gonna be a little pinch of salt. But first and foremost, we're gonna talk about the equipment that you need. So we're gonna start from uh, an apparatus to measure. We're also gonna start with a, a three-piece shaker. The most important thing is that it has a filter over here, so at least you can actually uh, filter your drinks. We also have a, a tea strainer or double strainer. You also want all the time a spoon. Uh, we're also gonna use some egg whites. Uh, this egg white also has been uh, slightly blended. We're also gonna use uh, some uh, two to one rich sugar syrup. Uh, this is two part of sugar, one part of water. We're also gonna use a little apparatus or a scoop to cut the ice. As you can see at the bar here, uh, we like to use cold drop ice. So it means that when we shake it, all this ice doesn't break immediately. The dilution is a, such an important part of any cocktail making, really, especially when we talk about cold drinks. So another thing that's very important that you purchase that you can find in any online for sure, uh, this is called Mexican Elbow, which I actually don't know why it's called Mexican Elbow. If someone can answer uh, to this question down on the link, uh, would be amazing. Uh, but also is a juicer. We're also gonna use a touch of uh, uh, sea salt. Uh, I would like to start actually from the garnish. I wanna show you how we actually, before we cutting the lemon in half, how we're gonna do the little garnish that I like so much. This is uh, the top of uh, a kitchen tool. And we cut it and we create a perfect circle. I don't wanna throw away this part because it's flavor. So those are two my two garnishes and we're gonna start with the lemon juice. Now for this recipe, uh, which is a classic egg white gin sour, I like to give it everything in ounces, and I started all the time with one ounce of fresh lemon juice. After we're gonna go with our sugar syrup, and we're gonna go half ounce. Then we're gonna use, a, when I say a little pinch, is like this much. So obviously being a gin sour means that we're gonna be a bit heavy with the gin. So we're gonna go with two ounces of our written in ale. Now the question is, can you flavor it? this gin sour, of course you do. Just put a little bit of best gin, put, you know, if you like any melon liqueur, or any Campari, Aperol, any bitter. Remember, um, the balance is super important. And after you go with the egg white, because actually I'm doing a very classic style of gin sour, I'm only gonna put half ounce into it. So it's time to put a 
for my eyes. If you're working at the bar, you know, means you're always nice and clean. So we're gonna start shaking. So I'm looking and I'm trying to create a, a kind of a shake of my shaking until I get the rhythm. It's around 10 seconds and we're gonna just pour it through. I actually don't want so much foaming. I want to keep it very classic. With a little twist that we actually cut, we're going to just spray it around. And then we're going to finish off with uh, our little circle, which is we're going to place it super nice on top of the drink. And this is a, a classic egg white. Now it's time to make our little twist of a classic gin egg white sour. First and foremost, change the gin. We're gonna go with tankery number 10. Well before we kept a super classics. Now we're gonna go a little bit more funky, but still very easy to execute. This is a salted chamomile syrup. Please follow the link and we're gonna teach you how to make it. Second, we're gonna go with some fresh grapefruits uh, juice. And then we're gonna use our egg white and some fresh lemon juice. One huge difference will be the shaker. We're gonna use uh, a tin to tin or two pieces, but let's start making the drink. Uh, I like to put a little bit of ice on the bottom. We're gonna start again from the lemon juice. That's perfect, we're just gonna move over here. We're gonna put it into the tin. Then we're gonna move with our fresh grapefruit juice and we're gonna go half ounce. Then we're gonna move with our salted chamomile. Now, this is a one-to-one, -one, so it means it's a little bit um, looser than the syrup that we used before. So we're gonna go 0.5 ounces. But also, I wanna create a little different texture. So I'm gonna use one bar spoon of white sugar. This will give a very good texture to the actual drink. A little pinch of salt for the balance. Tankery number 10. And we're still gonna go heavy, two ounces. That means the drink is gonna be nice and strong. I always, always advise you to try your drink before you start shaking it. Perfect. To Accentuate even more the flower notes of tankery number 10. I also am using three dashes of rose water. Now the egg white. We're gonna go 0 0.5 again. We're gonna give a nice shake. First and foremost though, I'm gonna fill it up almost until the top. Switch. Over here, obviously, there will be some water remain, so I'm using an author strainer to remove the water. We're gonna tie it up, close it, give a nice slap, and start our shaking truss. Now I'm gonna transfer all the ingredients back to the tin. I like to wet shake first and second. Double strain it into the, and you can see the color is like a mousse. There's a lot of density into it, a little touch of bitterness, floral notes, and we're gonna garnish it. Now the garnish is gonna be a little bit more, you know, different from the drink before. I'm gonna give it always some lemons. And now we're gonna use some dried rose petals. We're gonna put a few rose petals just for the nose in the center. We have something at the bar that we're very proud of. This is a, it's called citrus ashes. So most of the time that we buy juice, we actually have to roast them, the shells. 
inside the oven and create a, something called citrus ashes. We're gonna just spray it very briefly on top. There's a little twist of a egg white gin sour with entry number 10. Enjoy.